This is the Danube region in 2017. For yet another year, farmers, entrepreneurs, politicians and associations are having to react to the serious impacts caused by drought. This is not an isolated event. The Danube region has been faced with damaging droughts many times in the past, but although the frequency and intensity of droughts in the region are growing, people continue to react in the same way. We are always surprised that there is a drought which is striking agriculture quite severely. And now in the past 10 years, we have four years with considerable impacts and always we are analyzing this with uh, delay. The Dry Danube project aims to change this approach by making the shift from crisis management to risk management, from recovery to protection. Key to this is identifying which areas are vulnerable to drought so that we can better direct our mitigation efforts and drought planning. The drought risk methodology, it is quite different. So even in one country, there can be different sources, different methodologies, and you can imagine that one government institution asks information from one institute, the other one from another institute, and even a governmental level can be confused. So therefore, it is very necessary that we have a unified methodology for the region. We will develop a methodology and the software for a risk assessment. It will be based on drought impact data and meteorological data. The final input will be a digital risk atlas with several maps for the region. They will have a map and they will see the reality, the physical geographical reality, and they can say that, oh, here is a larger risk, or here is a lower risk, here we can have a higher compensation, here we can acquire different agricultural methods, different uh, crops, and uh, then in the case of that, we can pay higher compensation. We lack the knowledge, the early knowledge about the impact. Uh, and also early estimate and warning about the size of the impacts and a conceptually similar tool that will cover the whole Dre Danube region. Experts can uh, identify the drought occurrence, but what we cannot identify on ourselves is the drought impact in different sectors. And that's why we need uh, national reporting networks, uh, which will consist of experts from the field, so it means real farmers, foresters, fruiters, and so on, who will report us the real impact. Basic benefit will be the better information flow. So the government officials, farmers, associations, foresters will be able to not only estimate impact, but plan for them early in the season, so they can take also the adaptive measures. And the idea is also to promote a forecast and early warning so we can limit the damage caused by drought and we can prepare for, let's say, the post-drought situation. Drought user service is important because it will bring some novelties into the data sharing because we live in a community of uh, countries that sharing of this, such data is complex. Uh, by official requests and such. Uh, the tool will have um, an option to see where the drought is happening, its development, so how it's developing through time and in place. Where does it start and how it spreads. It's going to be an easy to use uh, service with, which is available in the web browsers. Basically what you get is you will see a map of the region of the Dredenia project. Uh, you can choose from a menu the, the data set you want to have displayed. If you click on that, the data set will be shown on the map. You can browse through the available dates. Drought management in Danube region is actually not synchronized. In many countries, it's still very weak. So what we would like to reach with the development of the project 
to synchronize or to harmonize the management procedures in the countries. With the new strategy, hopefully at least awareness of the problem will change uh, with all the involved stakeholders. But we are counting on that also that in everyday policy and maybe also some operational procedures there will be changes triggered by this new strategy. Setting up the dialogue between the different stakeholders at national and regional level will bring a better understanding of the problem and we could be then better prepared and uh, if we act all together we can reduce those impacts. The Dry Danube project will harmonize monitoring and early warning systems and unify different approaches for risk and impact assessments. The current slow reaction before and during drought will be accelerated, leading to quicker recovery and better preparedness for the next drought.